Well, we can speak now to Professor Andrew McLeod, a former aid worker and co-founder of Hear Their Cries, which is an international advocacy organisation to protect vulnerable people in the developing world. And he joins us from Valencia in Spain. A very good evening to you. Good evening. What do you make of the report's findings that sexual abuse is endemic in the aid industry? The report itself says we should be angry, but not surprised. And I agree with that entirely. I highly welcome this report. This is probably the best, most objective report we've had into a problem that is three decades old. This has not been a culture of denial just since the uh, Oxfam Haiti scandal. This has been a culture of denial that goes to the food for sex scandal that you referred to in your package. But even earlier than that, the whistleblower scandal in Bosnia in the mid-1990s. So I highly welcome this report as a good start because we are today exactly where we were with the Catholic Church in the 1990s. We are just beginning to realise the scale of the problem. We've got to understand this problem and now move forward for solutions. When you worked as an aid worker, did you witness some of the behaviour that's been talked about? Certainly heard a lot of rumours and saw some behaviour in bars. It goes without saying that I didn't see the behaviour inside bedrooms. But it was the aid industry's dirty little secret. People heard of the Florida 2000 nightclub outside Parley in Bosnia. People knew of the food for sex scandals in West Africa. Even Kofi Annan wrote in his book that one of his best, biggest regrets was not cracking down on the pedophilia. There is no senior person within the aid industry in the last 30 years who can say with honesty they did not know or ought to have known this was a problem. If this is as widespread as you say and has been going on for as long as you say, how plausible is it that there will be prosecutions and that people will be brought to account? Because if I'm right, this is a report that runs to more than 100 pages and the word prosecution is only mentioned, what, three times? Three times, 116 pages and three times, and the three times the word prosecution is mentioned is in the context of why it's difficult. And the report writers are correct. It is difficult. And let's be clear here, this report's not the full stop. It's the beginning of the sentence. And there's no doubt British lawmakers will continue to work on this. And both Priti Patel as Difford Secretary last year and Penny Mordaunt after her are taking this really seriously and I expect the British government to continue to lead the way together with the Australian government. But we do need prosecutions and this is the critical bit. Not just the prosecutions of the individual perpetrators but CEOs and trustees of charities that have turned a willful blind eye have not done all they could to prevent these crimes happening. They should be prosecuted either for failing to prevent or for failing to report child sex offences. Remember, child sex offences anywhere in the world are still a crime under UK law. May I ask you just finally a sort of personal question? Why has this become something that you clearly feel so passionate about? I've been asked this a couple of times today and there are three reasons. Firstly, it's just wrong. Secondly, it's a personal betrayal. Every individual in the world, the, the, the the hardest resource you've got is your time. Choosing how to allocate your time is the most important life decision. And I chose to allocate my time to the aid industry. And after 10 years in the aid industry, I was getting senior enough to be complicit in the system. And I couldn't do that. And thirdly, it's a betrayal of the donors. So it's just wrong and a betrayal of the victims. It's a personal betrayal of myself because I wanted to do good in the world and went to an organisation that did a lot of bad. And thirdly, it is a betrayal of the taxpayer funds. And, and it's something we can fix and it's something we should fix. And this report goes a long way to starting the beginning of the process of fixing this. Professor Andrew McLeod, good to talk to you. We're grateful for your time. Thank you. Thank you.